Tony Story. Det er en novelle som du skal lese i år, og det er viktig at du kan analysere, at du kan drøfte de novellene. Så la meg gå gjennom noe av det som er sentralt i den novella her. Da går det på symbolisme, diverse symbolbruk altså, og ikke minst det å kunne snakke om themes. Altså, hva handler novella egentlig om? Så la meg gi deg en kjapp gjennomgang av novella. Symbolism, altså symbolbruk, og themes, tema. Now, when it comes to symbolism in Tony's story, we have the following symbols. Number one, the fun fair uh, with the ferris wheel and the cotton candy. You have the dark sunglasses, the billy club, the arrowhead, and the fire. Finally, the draught. These are the central symbols, the strong symbols in this story. Now, let us start with the beginning. The fun fair with the ferris wheel and the cotton candy. Now, this is a symbol of modern Western culture, far removed from the original Native American environment. And the dark sunglasses, well, they resemble the black ceremonial mask from Tony's dream, and they symbolize uh, danger. And they also make it hard to see the cop as a real person, uh, as they make personal contact difficult. So yeah, uh, it, they resemble the mask. When you put on glasses, you put on the mask, and you don't see the eye of a person. And when you don't see the eye of a person, well, you cannot see his soul. The billy club uh, resembles um, the long bone in Tony's dream. And uh, th this is very threatening, and it is a scary device, so of course it symbolizes power as well. The arrowhead, uh, according to tradition, um, uh, in this certain tribe, the arrowhead is supposed to give protection. And of course, finally, uh, not finally, but uh, second last, the fire. The fire represents the final destruction. Uh, killing the evil spirits is not enough, according to tra tradition. It's not enough to kill. They have to be burned to make sure they disappear. Fire has a cleansing effect. And finally, the drought. Well, nature is suffering during a long, dry period. So the drought might symbolize a difficult uh, time without progress, uh, a, a standstill in a situation uh, with, with no release. Now, let us move to themes. The major, the central themes in this, in this story are discrimination against Native Americans, an injured self-image among natives, also det at du har et, et såra, et ødelagt selvbilde, and natives being split between two cultures, also du har den hvite kulturen, og du har den indianske kulturen. Now, let us uh, start with discrimination against Native Americans. The white cop is filled with hatred towards the natives, and he has no respect for Tony and Leon and takes pleasure in hurting them. Tony and Leon, uh, they are used to such discrimination, and they know how powerless they are against white authorities. Moving on to the next theme, the, the injured self-image among the natives. Well, Tony, he looks down on himself and he sees himself as ugly and inferior to the white cop. And when the majority is negative to your appearance and ethnic background, your self-image obviously easily becomes injured. And uh, the fact that the natives felt and still feel uh, split between two cultures. Well, in this story, you see this through Leon. And Leon has been outside the reservation. He has, in many ways, removed himself from the Native American way of life. And he feels both native and white. And he cannot accept that he is discriminated against. And the theme of being caught between two cultures is a very common theme in Native American literature. So this was a brief overview of the central themes and also show, uh, symbols and themes and I try to show you how you can present this on uh, an exam for example. So 
Good luck with working with Tony Story.